Rule of War in Islam Islam prohibits aggression and the initiation of hostilities. Muslims are only allowed to engage in warfare for self-defense or to protect basic human rights. Muslims are instructed to exercise proportionality in warfare. Excessive force or the use of methods that cause unnecessary harm to civilians or the environment is strictly prohibited. Deliberate harm to non-combatants such as women, children, the elderly, and religious leaders is strictly forbid. Islam encourages the humane treatment of prisoners of war. They should be provided with proper food, shelter, and medical care. Attacking religious institutions and those engaged in religious activities is strictly forbidden. Muslims are expected to honor truces and treaties made with the enemy. Breaking agreements or betraying trust is considered a grave sin.